It's been a big year for the mountain segment. Yamaha is back with a two-stroke, no less. Skidoo released the industry's first two-stroke turbo, and Polaris has updated their already outstanding Pro RMK to be even lighter and more responsive. There's a considerable amount of news that should be enough to get any high-altitude rider excited, but it's important to remember that Polaris's Pro RMK has, for a number of years, been labeled by many as the industry's best mountain sled, especially for aggressive or technical riders. No, it doesn't get a turbo for 2021, but the updates it does get are aimed at making the best even better. Are they enough to keep the Pro RMK at the front of the pack though? That's what we're gonna find out right now. Full disclosure, the majority of the 2021 Pro RMK 165 we're testing today is identical to the 2020 Pro RMK 163. It's the same chassis, same suspension, same awesome 850 engine, same controls, and the same bodywork. I won't blame you if you're wondering what actually is different. The answer is simple. This season, the Pro RMK gets a new belt drive system called the Quick Drive 2 and a new Series 8 track. At first, this might not seem like a big deal, but let's just dig a little deeper before we make any judgments, shall we? Polaris's original quick drive system was pretty cool, and it did carry with it some pretty important benefits over a traditional chain case setup. First and foremost, it was lighter by about five pounds, and on a sled designed to go up through the deepest pow, low weight is a big deal. In my opinion, bigger than on any other segment of sled. Second, the belt drive system allows for almost instantaneous power transfer to the track, which results in almost instantaneous lift when you hit the throttle in the deep stuff. And finally, the quick drive system itself sees a 6% reduction in driveline inertia, which makes the sled feel more maneuverable and more flickable. So it's pretty clear the original quick drive system was pretty awesome, but it did come with one major drawback. The belt itself was not strong enough to handle the extra stresses added to it by 163 and 174 inch tracks with three inch paddles. And this was a big deal because buyers who were serious enough to benefit from a belt drive system are the very same buyers who want the longest tracks and tallest lugs. So Polaris went back to the drawing board and for 2021, we now have the Quick Drive 2 system. Now the belt on this system looks pretty much identical to the old one, but in actuality, it's completely different. A new internal Kevlar cord construction has boosted the durability of the belt to a level that it can now easily handle the extra stress placed on it by a three inch lug track thus erasing any drawbacks related to choosing a belt drive equipped RMK. Along with the new Quick Drive 2 system, Polaris has also developed a new 165 by 2.7 lug track they're calling the Series 8. You may be asking yourself, why is it a 165 instead of a 163? And why is it a 2.75 lug instead of a three inch? And the answer to both questions is very important. We're told the new 2.75 height lugs offer a no compromise, best of both world combination of the lightweight and instant track speed of a 2.6 and the deep snow traction of a three inch. It's a 165 because the series eight track has a 3.5 inch pitch versus the 163's three inch pitch. The extra track length is simply a result of the difference in pitch. Now you're probably wondering even more why this is important. The 3.5 inch pitch series eight track with a 2.75 lug while longer is lighter than the three inch pitch series seven track with only a 2.6 lug. So you're getting more length and lug for less weight. And to me, that's a win-win. But the question is, how do they actually work on the snow? I can say that after spending considerable time on the new Pro 165, the difference between it and both last season's Pro RMK 163 with a 2.6 lug and a belt drive, or last season's Pro RMK 163 with a three inch lug and a chain case is definitely noticeable. When compared to the older model with the chain case and the three inch track, the weight is immediately noticeable, as is the reduction in inertia. The sled can be flicked with way less effort and it requires less effort to hold it on its side during a side hill, especially when you're on the gas. Versus last season's 2.6 lug quick drive one equipped Pro RMK, the noticeable difference is entirely in the traction department. That little bit of extra lug and length might not seem like much to most, but when the snow is extra soft and deep, it makes a big difference. 
The real proof for me that Polaris's new Quick Drive 2 and Series 8 equipped Pro MK is an improvement over last year's sled is that it's allowed me to ride longer with less fatigue and ultimately go places I wasn't previously able to go. And in my opinion, that's all that really matters when it comes to updates and improvements in the mountain segment. Is this enough to firmly place the Pro RMK in the number one position in the mountains? Well, that all depends on what's most important to you and how you ride. If having more power is what you need or want, your attention may be pulled elsewhere this season. But if you think the lightest, best handling, most predictable, most precise, and easiest to ride mountain sled is what's gonna make you a better rider, then you really only have one choice, and this is it. If you enjoyed this video, there's two things you need to do right now. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our new uploads. We upload content every week and we wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of it.